Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Slam Dunk 2022, and on the Rock Sound stage, no less. Later today is the man sitting next to me. It's Modson. How are you, man? I'm great, bro. It's so good, to good to see, see you, you in person. So good to see you. Finally, not on a Zoom screen. We made I it. I knew we life. would. I think I've probably said it to you many times. One day, we knew we'd get there eventually. Uh -huh. You gotta be hyped to be here anyway, because we were just saying Slam Dunk is kind of one of those events in the scene calendar, particularly over here, where I know you'll have mates on this lineup. Yeah. I know you'll. This is your crowd. I'm, over, I'm, I'm. I was just in the crowd watching. I mean, like I'm walking around watching everyone. Man, it's exciting. It's so yeah. good. Well, one of the live things you have been doing recently in warming up, uh, got to play at the old Red Rocks the other night. With yep. What a stacked lineup that was, by the way. How yeah. was that experience for you at a, a very legendary venue that's always a joy to play, I'm sure? Uh, yeah, it's probably the craziest venue in the United States. It's definitely the one that, like, as a kid, you're thinking about, like, one day I'm going to play there. Um, it's the second time I've played a full set there, third time I've been on that stage. Uh, and it was amazing. And Neck Deep was on the show, so, like, I made friends with them. And they were the ones that really, like, got me hip into, like, how awesome this festival is. Oh, no way. Because, yeah, they speak really highly of this. They're just like, bro, it's so fucking awesome. So, yeah. um, but it was amazing, bro. I mean, uh, you know, I just did a, a full tour in Canada with Avril. It was my first time playing arena shows. And then, you know, now I'm out here playing festivals. It's like I've always wanted to do – I mean – I'll, I'll say next summer I'm definitely gonna do the whole festival circuit out here. Oh, I hope so. But I'm definitely like getting my feet wet right now, and like this yeah. is awesome, bro. How you found putting together the show for something like that, though? Because like obviously you're used to playing a certain type of show. When you're doing an arena or whatever, apart from the obvious thing of like there's a fuck ton more people. Yeah. How does your show actually change and adapt? Do you do you play with a different energy, or is it always like no, I'm just gonna bring it at this level of energy and know it will work? I've never ever cared about how many people are in front of me i always say it's not about how many people are in front of you it's about who's in front of you so whether it's been five people bro, I've, I've spent half my existence on a stage yeah it, it doesn't it's never mattered to me how many people are there i always go as hard as i can yeah. right so that's just something i've always been like um but doing a solid 10 years as a rapper studying people like method man and red man mm. i know how to engage with the crowd right so um, I like musical direct my set and I, I, I program everything in my set knowing that I'm going to have to like engage with the audience more. And the fact that like I've done so many sets as an opener coming to an end finally and becoming a, a true headliner <laughs> out here. But but uh, I'm really good at, at, at being there for the headliner. Yeah. I mean, there's rules about being an opener. You know, you don't you don't crowd surf. Sure. You don't throw water on the crowd. For me, it's like you don't take your shirt off. <laughs> right? Is that a hard and fast rule? No shirts off for the I, opener. I have rules. Fair yeah, enough. yeah, because like it's not your show. I like, get that. No, the I crowd do get wants that. to see you get them ready for the headliner. That's how That's I've always looked at it. at it. So like, I never look at it like I'm going out there for myself. I look at it like I'm going out there for the headliner. Due to that, I always end up having like a really good reaction. So playing in these arenas, like, uh, I think. I think I'd mean I did my job, which was to get them ready for the show. Absolutely. And at the same time, gain a bunch of new listeners. Man, it's exciting time for you, man. It really is. It's great to see you kind of coming over here and playing these shows. Loads of projects going on as well. Obviously, last time I spoke to you was uh, you and the boy MGK for the Good Morning film. Nice to see the reaction to that, man. It feels like your fans have really got involved with that, had some fun with it, because it is a bit of fun, isn't it? You've got to love those reactions to it. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, um, and you've finally seen it now, because when I spoke to you last, you hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> you have now like, finally seen it. I mean, like, yo, we, I mean, I was edited it for Of course. Months. I know you know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and like all that. But like, eventually, like, as someone who's making a movie, like with any project, there's like a point where you have to let it go of and be like, this belongs to the world now. Um, but the reaction has been great. I mean, that's like part of the fun for me of making any kind of art is like, I look so forward to like it being born and like even if it's one person that's like oh my god this is amazing like that actually really feels good to me yeah. you know those are like little I take those as little trophies you know sure. um, but yeah it's had a great reaction it's a comedy film there's a great twist in it it's cinematically gorgeous and um, it was my first of what I planned to do many of, you know? Yeah, I was going to ask you that because obviously you've done, I know you did the documentary before, we talked before about Dan Paul's Hindsight, but this felt like first kind of original narrative thing that you're kind of leading the way on. Is that what you want to keep doing now? More kind of movies, more things in that kind of nature? Um, I've dedicated like my 40s and 50s to that. Okay. Because it's a lot of work. Oh, dude. God, yeah, I'm sure. It is, uh, it's the closest thing I've felt to a real job since I worked at a skate shop, you nice. know, when I was in ninth grade. 
like is a real nine to five. Yeah. I had a desk at one point and was like going in to work at 7 a.m. and it was like a lot. Yeah. Um, and you can't really do anything else when you're doing that, you yeah, know. Sure. And I like I like to be multidimensional. Um, so yeah, I've I've definitely like I like to do things in ten ten year uh, sprints. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah, like the latter part of my life will be more writing and directing stuff like that. Good to have aims and, and time periods you want to play with. And speaking of all your creative projects, let's get on to the music, man. Of course, because I know you're working on stuff, right? Yeah. What can you tell me about what you've been working on and what we're building towards, and how you're going to follow up this this last record, which you know we loved. You know, when everyone starts going this way, I tend to go that way okay. my whole life. You know, I've always done that, um, and like. With this next record, uh, I had to kind of stay on course with where with, with with what I just did with my last album. I felt it wouldn't be right for me to just like veer off right away and, and try to like expand the sound, you know. Um, but I write about my real life, so the last record was more of like a technically kind of like a breakup record, and this one's more about like love and and like being in a good relationship and um, being like deathly in love with someone, you know, super dedicated. Uh, and so I've really tried to, you know, on my last album, I feel like I, get, I gave myself like a B plus, you know? Cause there's a few songs on it. Like I made that album in uh, two weeks, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, was just like so happy with everything. It was just like, let's get, let's get it out there. Let's get it out there. Um, but there's like, you know, two or three songs on it that I'm like, yeah, like these are good. I don't know if I'd ever play these live. Like my, my, my right. whole goal, with this next album is that I would play the album front to back and like every song really really is like super super it means a lot to me so I've spent the last um, like I don't know almost a year now working on this album I've made like 50 songs for it as opposed oh, to the last album I made what you heard you heard everything I yeah, made sure, for sure, it sure. you know maybe one didn't make it into the world but um, for this one there's gonna be a lot that like don't make it just because like I, I plan to to really give this one you know everything I got and and to make the sound you know I for instance I didn't have a song in six 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 timing six four timing you know I do on this record I have like the things that I missed out on on the last record yeah putting all into this one nice um, it's gonna be like the the uh, the like pinnacle mod Sun album like I already know that yeah, there we go you know like uh, people have known me prior to well, just like my whole career, Mod Sun has always had like a very positive connotation to it. Um, there's like some of that energy on this album. Like the next song I'm dropping, it's like a very like self-love, empowering, you know, like life is full of peaks and valleys, right? And, and, uh, and I had to make something for myself with this next song, which is just like, you know, I get really into my head and there's times when I'm like, I'm not doing enough or I need to compete with myself or right. like, I mean, I had a song go to radio on my last album, right? Yeah. Do really well on the radio. And for the first time ever now, I'm going into this album and thinking about radio and like- That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? It was like, it was the wrong thing to do, mm. you know, to put those pressures on yourself. And, uh, and I needed to like go back to the fact of like the beauty of art, which is just, you know, getting it out there mm. like crossing the finish line not being so hard on yourself and the pressures that you put on yourself so this next song is called perfectly imperfect it's very very like positive song nice. i think that's great there's so much sad song it's summertime man like <laughs> we do need some summer bangers let's get some like we happiness have, yeah. going you know yeah we are dying for some summer bangers out yeah here. i think yeah. that'd be a good positive spin to put on things yeah. um who you've been working with this time as well is this just you in the studio doing all yourself or are you collaborating a bit more on this one and what's the kind of deal with that uh, it's been me and John Feldman. Awesome. Same thing. Such a good relationship. Though, yeah, man. same thing. I mean, me me and him, we get each other and like we work the same way, which is just like silence is the enemy. Yeah. Just make something, dude. Like whether it's like the greatest song you've ever made or it's a song, like at the end of the day, like make something. Yeah. Like there's this great world you can live in that's just don't think, just create. That's it. Like, I like that as a mantra. That's a yeah, nice mantra. Yeah, bro, but have. like. But like I had to, I had to fall back in love with that. Like, yeah. I had the most successful time in my life last year, and this is where artists that when that happens, that's when artists either go up or down. They either they they either like head to the the heavens or they crash and burn. 
and like I, I was I mean, heading either way. I didn't know which way I was gonna head. I was, I was really in my head, um, and like I just had to remind myself, like, bro, you're so lucky, dude. Like, you're a kid who was in the crowd, watching all these bands, begging them to stay at your house. Like, I wasn't born with any talent. I don't, I don't think, and I had to work for all of this. And I'm just like, had to remind myself, like, bro, like, you're just lucky to be here, you know. Man, it's so nice to hear that. Just so appreciative for everything. You're always like that. honestly, good, yes, bro. Yes, that's it. If I if, if I can be anything, it's like the the fact that like I really really am grateful and like I, I, I everyone forgets that. But I am definitely not self righteous. I'm not like up here like, man, I deserve more. I should be getting this. I mean, cause look look at my friend. He's doing so much better than me. Like all that is for the birds, bro. It's like not it, you know. Um, so yeah, just just focusing on staying in a really good mind state man it sounds like you are in a good one dude i'm excited to hear this new music man i'm gonna let you go and get ready for the show in a second but no let's keep talking no one else <laughs> i'm on a schedule there's no too one many else bands no today. no sorry i wish cancel, i could keep talking cancel i wish your i next could interview. i wish i could yeah uh before i let you go though please tell me there's plans for later in the year to come back and see us in the uk again man I yeah mean, i mean yeah obviously you got the headliner coming up and obviously slamming these two days but yeah we'd love to see you back over here yeah yeah, yeah there'll be there's a new album coming you know I'm, I'm i'm almost there almost done with it gonna have a great rollout throughout the summer um some fun surprises with features on songs and nice. um, oh give me a feature hint just give me a clue i know you don't want to tell, tell too much just give me a clue cryptic clue <laughs> cryptic feature clue i don't know how to do that without <laughs> saying someone like someone with that's had giant number one records last year oh okay yeah interesting yeah that I've never done a song with before. Oh, that's so okay. Go. That that actually okay. Okay, yeah. that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, we'll see yeah. what happens. So start then. doing your, start doing your journey, and then and then a couple, um, and then and then I have one with like someone that like was the first CD that I've ever bought. Ooh, oh, that's good because I know your heritage and I know the bands you like. I'm really yeah. intrigued. I'm gonna find that out when we get off camera. Um, dude, have such a great festival, man. Catch him on the Rock Sound stage, everybody. Don't you forget it. Um, yeah, and we'll see you again very soon, man. All right. Cool. Thank you, man. Good Appreciate to see you, you brother. Love, son, everybody. Yeah.